In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with you as well. As we begin the celebration of our Mass, we are mindful of God's presence. Even though we may be in our rooms, watching this on TV, we know that we are united with God's Spirit, God's Spirit of love. To prepare ourselves today, let us be mindful of our need to share in that mercy. Lord Jesus, bread of life, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, sower of the sea, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, fruitful word of God, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. We take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are counted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does, give honor to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the one who is God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading today is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The untilled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing clothes the hills. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The fields are garmented with flocks, and the valleys blanketed with grain. They shout and sing for joy. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. Our second reading today is from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will have life forever. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore. And as he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path. And the birds came and ate it up. Some seeds fell on rock. Some seeds fell on, on the ground where there was little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of, for lack of roots. Some seed fell among the thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The disciples approached him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? He said to them and replied, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has more will be given, and he will grow rich. From, from anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they took, they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. Gross is the heart of the, of the people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, <coughs> lost, lest they see, they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted. And I, and I heal them. But blessed are your ears, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Here is the parable of the sower. Here the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it, and the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy, but he has no root and lasts for only a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, and indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The other day I was taking a walk down towards Lake Park. As I got to Bradford and Wall, I noticed in this, um, there's a house in the corner there, the northwest corner, and it has a huge garden. There's many flowers and shrubs and, and trees. And there were two Hispanic men who were tilling the soil because apparently they were converting part of that lawn into uh, a plot to grow uh, vegetables or flowers. They were hard at work. But so before they put the rotary tiller in, that was hard ground, probably had grass on the top, and there was no, no other plants except for the grass. Today's readings, especially from Matthew, Jesus' parable, invites us to see through a new lens, to see that indeed it's the, those figures of speech that can open our hearts to the Word of God. Indeed, the Word of God comes to us, the figure is a seed. It's given to us in baptism, but it needs to find rich soil. We are the soil. But as we live, as we grow, as we age, perhaps at times we become hard, become rocky, become thorny. So it's very difficult for that word to come in. Jesus is the sower. Jesus is the one that plants the seed, but it needs rich soil. And soil needs to be nurtured with rain, with fertilizer perhaps. God's grace is that rain. So each of us are invited today to listen to God's word, to 
open our hearts to that seed so that it may bear good fruit. And when it does bear good fruit, we share that with others. But this is what community is all about. So it's not just my garden, but we share that same plot of land, the reign of God, and we, we encourage that seed to grow, to bear fruit, and to be shared, especially for those who are hungry for the word of God. We who have received God's mercy humbly ask for the needs of the church and the world. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, in Jesus Christ, his only Son and Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and is buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord of the Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, for his resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. That every believer will be fertile soil for the growth of God's word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That every land rejoice in plenty, foreshadowing the harvest to be shared in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from physical and spiritual hunger, be filled with healing goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That farmers and all who work the earth receive a just wage and abundant harvest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are isolated, for those who are lonely at this time, that we may be united with them in loving spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, bringer of the harvest, you give us every good thing. Grant what we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Creator. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all of the Holy Church. Look upon the offerings of your Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all of its wonder to rule in your name over all that you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. So with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, 
gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jerome our Bishop, and all those who give up ministry and service within your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, our patrons, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray as Jesus, our brother, has taught us. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your followers, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but rather in the faith that we share as your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you. And peace be with you as well. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with you as well. May God's blessing be upon us all, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Have a blessed week, everybody.